Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Cody and welcome to Destiny Follower. So as many of you may know, details about Destiny 2 have been more tightly guarded than those stupid siege engine parts in Destiny's newest raid. Seriously, that part is awful. Screw the siege engine. I don't even want to talk about that. But what we are going to talk about today is some very interesting information that has recently come out regarding Destiny 2. Now, I want to let you know that these are rumors and they have not been confirmed by Bungie, but they did come from some pretty solid sources that have been correct regarding Destiny DLCs in the past. So take everything that you hear in this video with a grain of salt, but I thought this stuff was pretty interesting and I wanted to share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. According to a recent Kotaku article, a NeoGAF user with Inside Activision sources claims that during a recent Activision meeting, it was revealed that Destiny 2 will in fact be available on PC as well as Xbox One and PS4. This is huge for a few different reasons, but probably the most exciting thing for me is that we might actually get to see Destiny in 60 FPS and not the 30 FPS that we're all so used to. Another really interesting rumor that came from this user is that Activision owned studio Vicarious Visions, who you may know from working on the Skylander series, is assisting in the development of Destiny 2. Also, according to sources close to Bungie, we may be seeing some big changes with the release of Destiny 2, and in return for those changes, we may have to give up some of our old gear our old characters, and embark on a brand new journey. These sources also claim that they want Destiny 2's open world play spaces to feel much more alive. They're going to have things like towns and outposts and just generally make the world feel much more populated than it does currently in Destiny. So if they do make these huge changes to the game and they make Destiny be as good as I know that it can be, I'm okay with giving up my current characters and my gear and my weapons. Except for my Galahorn. If you want my Galahorn Bungie, you're gonna have to come and take it. <laughs> but in all seriousness, like I said at the start of the video, these are all rumors, so make sure that you take them with a grain of salt. And if you guys are like me, we're Destiny players. We're all salty so we can do that, it's all good. But anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to smash that like button like the Siege Engine smashes my terrible LFG teammates in the new raid. Uh, it would mean a lot to me if you guys did that and it truly helps out everybody here on the channel. Also, if you're new to Destiny Follower, make sure to subscribe for the latest Destiny news, lore, and entertainment. As always, my name is Cody and thank you for watching Destiny Follower. Stupid siege engine.